So hey there, namaste dear friends. Today we're diving into Ayurveda and how to fuel your body right for happier digestion. So hope everyone's fine and ready to join me for the next 50 minutes to an hour to really dive into this topic. So are you ready to unlock the incredible potential within you? Your human body is the most amazing uh, mechanism. Some people like to call it, I like to call the body a, a temple, something that you come home to. And it's really a masterpiece of nature where it's capable of everything from the most intricate cellular dance to breathtaking feats of strength and agility. Can you imagine experiencing all of life with the confidence and energy that comes from a body that's really truly thriving? I mean, it's no more sluggish mornings, no more grumbly tummies, that hold you back from your adventures. In this webinar, we'll embark on an, an Ayurvedic adventure to explore how to feel this magnificent, sometimes, um, you know, referred to as a machine, but um, a place where we call home, your nature, and you'll get to understand that further as we go along. And we're going to go beyond some of the basics where you'll dive deep into this ancient wisdom of Ayurveda to discover how to nourish your body for optimal health and vibrant well-being. Quick question, who here is familiar with Ayurveda and its potential benefits? Let me know in the chat. Ayurveda, it translates as a science of life or that knowledge of life. It's an ancient practice. It's dating back 15,000 BC, and it's deeply rooted in Indian Vedic culture. Ayurveda goes beyond nutrition and internal medicine. It delves into psychology, herbology, gemology, and toxicology as well. And the core principles lie in balancing the doshas, pitta, kapha, and vata, which are derived from the five elements of the universe, earth, water, fire, air, and ether. And in today's era of holistic wellness, Ayurveda is that mother science of them all. And it's increasing in popularity. There's a resurgence in understanding this ancient wisdom for you know many privileged people that are taking their health into their own hands so that they can start to um, understand their bodies understand that nature also impacts upon our health and that we are together as one through some of the commonsensical and what I would like to call a practical approach, I've guided individuals through this proven process of showing them how to incorporate Ayurvedic practices and principles into their daily lives in new and more meaningful ways. And today we'll look at your digestion and we'll really get into unlocking the transformative power of Ayurveda together Drop a yes in the comments if you're fully on board and in. So did you know that digestion is called Agni in Sanskrit? Well, welcome to the club because 15 years ago, I had no idea how um, this commonly used word is used. So for the sake of this class, we're going to um call it digestion but know that it has its roots in the word agni agni to ignite so um when we're looking at um having a good agni 
or good digestion that means that we utilize our vital energy uh, from the, the food that we are eating effectively we get to foster and develop robust tissues in the body we get to maintain a stable body temperature we booster our immune system we radiate a healthy complexion we preserve optimal eyesight we have prolonged lifespan we get to cultivate a cheerful and joyful demeanor we exhibit enthusiasm vibrancy and a diverse characteristics we get to enhance our mental acuity with strong reasoning discernment and logical thought processes we get to cultivate patience confidence and steadfastness and sustain health and vitality throughout your daily activities all are impacted with good digestion when we have poor digestion you you know maybe even not sure if you have a strong digestion or not and if you're not sure then chances are that you probably don't have because many of the diet and lifestyle um, habits that we have developed are not conducive to good digestion and we're going to share a lot more about that um, on the second half of this webinar but you may be experiencing some of these signs already and it will show up as a whitish or yellowish coated tongue in the morning decreased appetite burping morning breath smelling like yesterday's dinner sensitivity to digestion or indigestion bloating in glass with unpleasant odors irritable bowel um, movements sluggishness sticky stools foul smelling or sinking sticky stools, undigested digested particles present in the stool, constipation, loose stools, feeling tired or lethargic, aches and pains, depression, low immunity and reoccurring infections, just waking up feeling unrested even after a good night's sleep. Hey there. Well, let me introduce myself. I'm Rita Mar Devi, an Ayurvedic practitioner and a retreat chef. And I'm the owner of the e-learning school Ayurveda Anytime. And in 2016, I dove into my first cleanse with a mixed bag of nerves and excitement. I was battling daily with hormonal issues and um, you know constipation sluggishness and these were some of my daily uh, struggles fast forward eight years and 16 cleanses later and my story is proof of ayurvedic power because it has the power to really balance your hormones, bring back vibrant energy, and also restore just a healthy relationship with your food and your body. And sometimes I can't really believe that this is my reality. And I'm over the age of 45 now in perimenopause. And this isn't just about me though. I'm here to help smart, conscious women like you ditch the confusion and embrace a holistic approach to health. At this, um, the end of this webinar, I'm going to share with you more on how you can do that. Um, and so I encourage you, though, to do take notes throughout the webinar so that you really um get to use this information in your own life why because i believe this information will change your life just like it has with mine and you know with years of experience of helping hundreds of women transform their health you'll see how it can transform your own life so my journey as a second generation British mixed race woman 
was that I was a personal trainer and a nutritionist in the past, but it took stepping outside of the Western health model and learning to listen to my body to really start having balanced energy. And I really did crave that sense of balance because I wasn't getting it from, you know, the places that I expected to see it. And so, you know, they say that health is a journey, it's not a destination. And all I wanna to say to that is that, you know, we all get to embark on that journey. And so let's look at some ways and how we can do that. So one of the things that really stood out as um, unique in Ayurvedic strategy is that, you know, fad diets out there, they often give you one approach and you very rarely do they say that it's a personalized approach and ayurveda does have a personal applies approach to eating and so you know no two people are ever going to have the same um, type of health and wellness needs so what works for you might not work for someone else but what if i told you there's a way to personalize a health and wellness plan based exactly on your needs well let's kind of demystify this a little bit more and look at the ayurvedic digestion and see if you can see yourself in these notes and do carry on jotting things down. So Sama Agni is balanced digestion. And when all the doshas are in balance, according to the constitution that they're in, we have a balanced metabolism and a person having balanced digestion, they can eat almost anything, any type of food, any type at any time of season without having adverse signs and symptoms. And you can imagine this is quite rare, but it does happen where a person's digestion and absorption and elimination are all normal. And this is a state of, you know, perfection in your own home. So uh, this means that neither food or environment, nothing upsets and bothers this kind of person. They're said to be calm, quiet, loving, have great clarity and awareness. And they can have good health and longevity and great immunity. Then there's um, Vata Dosha, which when they're aggravated, there is a tendency to have this irregular agni, irregular digestion. So they forget, you know, regular eating times, go out the window, and they have the most variable appetite and thirst. Their breath will smell of the last meal that they've eaten, they often crave spicy, hot, dry, salty foods. They snack and they don't give the nerve, the digestive system a rest, which then impacts on the nervous system. They become nervous and fearful of the future. And this type of like irregular appetite, it means that they have varying amounts of energy as well. They get indigestion, gas, they're underweight or skinny fat, they are bloated, there's fullness. Um, when they are full, it's painful in their lower abdomen, there's gurgling sounds happening in their digestion. Hyperperistalsis uh, means that they're going to the bowel movements quite often, constipation. You know, so it can vary between the two and they need, um, you know, to start 
eating a more vata pacifying diet to help to reduce this they also need to avoid eating dried fruits that are unsoaked they need to avoid nightshades as well there's often a sensitivity there and that will help them to stop feeling tired so easily you know meditation also helps to balance these types of vata um, irregularities and then also eating sweet sour and salty foods pitta dosha people they tend to when they're in balance have um, sharp digestion and they often sweat when they eat they regularly eat or they become hangry that's angry, angry and hungry they eat large amounts of food and they overeat um, often more than three times a day they have acidity with their food they are hypoglycemia they get hives and rashes on their skin heartburn often a sour taste in their mouth they have metallic breath they have a sulfur smelling breath they get inflammation anger irritability self-judgment and criticism they have loose stools more than three a day they need to have a pitta pacifying diet so that they reduce that um, tiredness when eating they also need to monitor the portion sizes and start eating more bitter astringent and sweet tasting foods kapha doshas they're the more earthy and water qualities um, they have more water and earthy qualities and so their digestion is more slow and sluggish they have low appetite they may not even feel hunger but they still eat anyway um, and so this kind of like results in undigested food they often create um, cravings for sweet or hot and spicy foods this makes them feel really heavy and lethargic after eating and so there's congestion there um, there's um, slowness drowsiness after eating and so they might experience dull aching pains in their stomach heaviness that mucusy type of stool and they um, need to change that to eating lighter meals they may skip a meal at lunchtime or dinner time when digestive fire is not very strong and they need to eat pitta um kapha pacifying foods so that's pungent astringent and bitter tasting foods so as we all know healthy eating is really crucial for maintaining a healthy lifestyle however many of us have busy schedules and it can be really difficult to make healthy choices when we're confused about what healthy choices are for us so this is where really like meal planning comes in and i'll share with you exactly how this is done with an ayurvedic strategy in the nourish your nature course but just to say that i've helped many people and i want to share with you a couple of those stories um, because it may seem really daunting at first to meal plan or start eating in a different way but i assure you that i make it really easy and uh, interesting for you to make transitions to a new way of eating and one case study is Angela she did the Nourish in Nature course and she said it was life-changing for her and so a bit of backstory is that she was trying for a baby with her partner and 
literally like moments after the booking of the course i don't know how long it was but um she said that her her body felt that now was it was safe and that she because she was going to be making different choices around her health that it allowed her to become pregnant and so she took the course throughout those early stages of her pregnancy and she said that she started listening to her body and that the course allowed her to see you know the 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 toxic path of her food what she was going down and so her skin improved and in her body she felt a big difference and you know she started listening to what foods to avoid and you know really noticed that the foods the wrong foods that she was eating the impact of them had given her you know constipation she was feeling tired all the time and she wasn't really respecting her body and to choose then the right foods for her body making small adjustments she saw immediate transformation so she's grateful and then Sayana, she learned how to make food food gasmic which i loved it when she said that uh, in the session she said that the nourishing nature program really helped her to get her digestive system back on track and she was symptom three you know only within a month of taking the course which is amazing you know and she loved all the encouragement and the wealth of knowledge that was in the program she even lost a few pounds which she wasn't expecting but she's grateful for and she was really amazed that you know she was making food and cooking and really immersed herself in the recipes and she was like so happy everything was really tasty and nourishing so meal planning is not only the only topic during the nourish in nature course we'll also share with you the right foods to eat uh, for each of the doshas and also um, the best food combinations for you so that you avoid poor food combinations which create toxins in the body. So here's just a small example um, of, you know, food as a, being a sadhana, a practice, a ritual that helps you become more mindful, that helps you become more aware and in tune with you know all the choices that you make so when we're looking at for poor food combinations fruit doesn't mix well with grain instead we say that you you know ideally you want to eat fruit alone um melon also doesn't digest well with other foods so you eat that an hour before the other meals beans don't combine well with cheese dairy eggs meat or fish eggs don't combine with fruits dairy meat fish and the kitchari which is a traditional ayurvedic um, rice and grain porridge which is fantastic i know it doesn't sound much but it's like the ideal comfort food tastes fantastic um grains not mixing them with fruit tabioca honey not mixing it with equal parts ghee or having it heated lemon doesn't combine with cucumber tomatoes milk and yogurt milk doesn't combine with banana cherries melon and sour fruits pickles bread with yeast meat fish or kitchery nightshades those are your potatoes tomatoes and peppers don't combine well with melon cucumber and dairy so let's get started on the path of a happy gut with Ayurveda, which is what we all want. But before we delve deeper into the second half of this webinar, I just want to summarize some of the ideas that we have looked at already. So the power of individualizing your diet, it gives you mindfulness so that you can make adjustments and understand your digestive type in Ayurveda. And you know, we say that like 
increases like and opposites will balance us. So that's what I want to share with you in the second part of this webinar is how to bring back more balance as we um, now view some of the foods and spices that you typically have on your plate. And we also uh, emphasized in the first half that, you know, it's not a one size fits all approach that we want to take with food. Um, we want to be able to experiment. We want to be able to use ourselves as this, um, you know, um, tasting, sensing, and feeling and intuiting which foods really work for us. And we do that as we gain more awareness about the qualities of certain foods. Let me explain a little bit more. Um, so when we look at your digestive fire and really finding like simple yet powerful tools to reignite your digestive fire and restore harmony back to it, what we want to do is look at some of these hacks like chewing like a champion on your food so it might sound really simple right but this is a game changer for some people you know thoroughly chewing your food really breaks down your food into smaller particles aiding in digestion and absorption and so your stomach will really thank you for taking the time to break down your food properly. Digestive bitters, these are like magical herbs really that stimulate digestive juices, ease bloating and discomfort in your stomach. And you can think of them as like pep talking to your digestive fire saying, come on, let's go. And it ensures that you burn your food brightly and strongly which um, I'm going to share with you more ideas um, for your particular dosha because you might be thinking, ah, but, um, you know, am I vata dosha? Isn't bitter supposed to be drying for me? So we're going to explore that a little bit more um, coming up next. But know that digestive bitters are great for digestion and spices can be used before you eat to enkindle agni, your digestion. Embrace the prana of fresh foods, right? Ayurveda emphasizes really the importance of eating fresh food over frozen foods, canned foods, life force energy, that's prana, uh, in your food is often found in seasonal projects you know think of vibrant farmers markets everything's just come in and all your vegetables and fruits are filled with this um, energy that's just singing and it sings in your body it sings in your cells you want food with prana in it lightening up your dinners our bodies naturally just wind down at night. So digestion slows down too. Opt for lighter evening meals compared to lunchtime. And this allows your digestive fire to focus on its job of leaving you having a rest at night and kind of instead uh, digesting your impressions for the day during your sleep instead of your heavy dinners and meals. Eating like a king or a queen in the middle of your day is also an important way to enkindle your agony. So the middle of the day is when the strong is this um, strongest the sun is the strongest 
And it also means that our digestive fire is also very strong in the middle of the day. So honoring this and making your lunch the biggest meal is going to really help your body to focus um, on digesting that food and using that energy uh, from your food in burning calories and, and giving you vitality um, over the middle of your day. Listen to your stomach, literally, like don't overstuff yourself. Aim for filling your stomach only one third full of food, leaving space for your digestive juices and air and fluids to help increase your digestion and decrease bloating and indigestion. Use a handful of roasted fennel seeds. Fennel seeds are incredible. You could, you could, if you, you know, wanted to chew on them after you eat, if you want to make them into a delicious tonic tea, these are great ways to stimulate and support digestion. Ginger is another great one. Um, and, you know, having these, um, either before or after your meal are incredible ways to help increase your digestive fire and really spark and kickstart the breaking down process of your food. You want to ditch any um, icy cold drinks that really kind of dampen your digestive fire. And, you know, they're seen as digestive extinguishers that weaken your digestive fire and hinder nutrient absorption. So instead opt for those tonic teas or you know, room temperature drinking water instead of the icy drinks. Savor silence at mealtimes. Turn to a mindful experience where you use, um, you know, taste as a guide. Um, you can listen to see if you are really full instead of, you know, being distracted by phones and TVs and books and, or, you know, just too much stimulation um, from outside of you. Instead, turn that focus on to the aroma of your food, the texture of your food, chewing it thoroughly and allowing your body to break down for optimal digestion. Sip, don't gulp when we're talking about water. Um, at meal times, gentle small sips throughout your meal aids in your digestion and helps your body to break down food and absorb nutrients and avoid large quantities of water during the meals, especially cold water, as we've said before, it really dilutes your digestive juices. Lying down after you've eaten on your left side because that allows for the right channel nostril to be open helps your tummy to rest and digest after your meals and encourages proper food movement through your digestive system it also promotes just smoother digestion and that feeling of ease um, to allow for that digestive process to be really smooth, smooth and comfortable. So have you ever wondered why some spices leave you feeling warm and others really feel cool? in the back of your throat. 
in Ayurveda, the Ayurvedic Indian science of healing, it's all about understanding the quality of spices. So think of your digestion as a fire that really breaks down food and some spices really heat up that process and other spices really cool down that process. So if we're looking at really heating spices, they are cinnamon, black pepper, clove, dry ginger, mustard seed. And when we're looking at slightly heating, that's turmeric, ginger, nigella, cardamom, basil, rosemary, oregano. And when we're looking at cool spices, we're looking at mint, cilantro, parsley, lemon balm, rose, rosehip, hibiscus, and elderberry. And then when we're looking at just like spices really focused on, you know, digesting your food that I pretty much use in all of my cooking. Then we're looking at cinnamon, um, cumin, fennel, and coriander that really help to your body absorb the nutrients from your food. So how does that relate to the different digestive types that we've already talked about today in the first part of the webinar? Well, let's look at how to spice up your digestion. And we talked about some of the digestive issues that you may experience if you have certain digestive types. So like bloating and constipation that are often associated with the manda agni, that's the sluggish um, agni. We want to include spices like hingvastak, kudki, trifala, chidraki, and chitrak, um, yes, chitrak. So uh, you can get these formulas already pre-made or you can make them um, by yourself. It's often using this, these spices that we had in the um list just before so like in chitrak we've got black pepper ginger and pepper longum which is a long pepper um and so you can make these spice blends yourself and just add them to your food if you have the vishma agni the irregular agni then you want to take the hingvastak, ajwan seeds are fantastic, ginger, hing, or the trichotu. If you have the sharp type of digestion, it needs cooling. So you get the fennel seeds, the coriander seeds, the neem, the shankar basmi, the guduchi, and the avipatika chanas are really helpful. And then if you have a balanced, normal digestive fire, you want to just have the Ayurvedic spice trifala just to help continue that great digestion on. So if you're feeling like, isn't it time that I started to really nurture my well-being through food all year round wouldn't that be great well then maybe it's time for you to learn how to eat with the seasons for better immune immunity maybe it's time for you to learn meal planning tips and tricks from an ayurvedic pro like myself who is a mother of three and doesn't have loads of time to spend in the kitchen <laughs> but enjoys home cooked food because that's where all the nourishment and benefits are maybe it's time for you to know how to support your body with the right foods 
So I want to share with you now the food as medicine solution, the nourish your nature course, which is, in my opinion, the best certif certified Ayurvedic cooking and self care course out there. Our course is recognized and approved by the prestigious International Practic Practitioners of Holistic Medicine, which ensures your highest quality of education and really opens the doors up if you want to pursue this further as a professional pursuit and they will ensure you um, so that you can work with people and and use this with them but even if you're someone that really wants to just get your body your body back on track again and your digestion feeling strong then you know this food is medicine approach will really help you to choose the foods that are healing for you from the inside out and if you want to fake wake up feeling energized and alive without getting that 4 p.m. slump, then we get to really finally kick some of those food addictions too, or coffee addictions. So this transformational um, coaching that you will receive throughout this certification really helps you just move beyond any struck, stuck energy that you may be having or fears about you know, different foods. And it will also help you immensely and emotionally to work to keep evolving yourself and keep you focused on where you need to be next in terms of your food, your diet, your lifestyle, so that you can really achieve whatever goals you want in life. And uh, it, it's incredible how taking one care of one element has a real knock on effect in all elements of your life. Don't underestimate uh, the power of your digestion or having poor digestion, what that is, how that's impact, impacting on your life and the quality of your life. Maybe somewhere along the way you've started to normalize some of the symptoms that you're experiencing and you really undervalue, you know, how, the, how much of an impact they have on you. Or maybe you've experienced confusion and just wrote off any hormonal and gut issues to just, you know, that's the way that you're gonna live the rest of your life. Or maybe you've normalized the brain fog, the lethargy and just feeling tired all the time or you're just on autopilot, just existing. You feel disconnected from your body. You buy ex expensive supplements and yet you still find yourself not feeling good. Or you feel like you're just a victim of fate, that your healthcare system, that your body has just failed you somehow. Or you just feel alone and as if no one really understands you or the way that you're feeling, or the impact of these issues and what they have over your life. And you're ready to say, nope, there's another way. I'm ready to show you that there is another way. So this course, A Nourish Your Nature, is it's more than just a course. I want you to really understand and hopefully this will land for you. It's a transformative journey that empowers you to cultivate vibrant health and well-being from the inside out. So here's how it's going to benefit you. You're going to start by ditching restrictive diets and learn that food is medicine as an approach. So this might be the first time that you're ever like be willing to befriend your body and really spark up a relationship with yourself in a new way as we learn that food is there to heal us to energize us and balance us and how it feels um, to absorb um, to digest certain food you're going to become so intricately connected with how 
food affects you energetically. That's really exciting. So you're going to create a personalized approach and strategy based on your Ayurvedic constitution. You're going to master Ayurvedic self care, which, you know, there are many ancient rituals for your glowing skin, a calmer body and mind, a stronger body, and you're going to learn the practices and that's going to help you to optimize your sleep. It's going to help you manage stress better and you're going to just feel this overall enhanced well-being that will help you to develop a deeper understanding of your body and the natural rhythms that we live in harmony with. You're going to unlock the power of spices. So in Ayurveda really demystifies spices and their incredible healing properties. So you're going to learn how to select and use spices to address specific digestive concerns and support your overall health. You're going to create your own custom spice blends to enhance your meals and ignite your specific digestion, your digestive type. And this experience is a lasting transformation, you know, going beyond just theory of reading something in a book, you're going to gain practical tools and strategies for your everyday life, which are going to connect and support you. You're going to get the support of not only like the community of others that are going to join you on this journey, but you're going to also just gain the confidence and knowledge of how to take charge of your health and finally learn how to thrive naturally. Nourish your nature is a passport to radiant, healthy and a more empowered you. The only question is, are you ready? I want to share with you a couple more um, dear souls that took part in the uh, Nourish Your Nature course. So this is April. She suffered from brain fog and that was all due to her digestive issues. So she says that the nourish, she, she started to learn to nourish her body and her spirit. And she'd studied Ayurveda before and had recipes, but they all just felt really dry and really overwhelming for her. So she said the power of working with Amrita is that she absorbed the love and the belief that she has in these simple daily practices, rituals, spices, herbs, and cooking. So there was a little uh, transmission there. So now she believes that she can commit to those for herself and living in this way dramatically changed her health. And quickly the brain fog and the fatigue were replaced with clarity and vibrancy. So she's so grateful for this amazing gift of health and practices that will serve me and my family for a lifetime. So true. Her children's children will also learn those and hand those on to her family. So Pamela, she felt immediate and beautiful changes in both her feelings of wellness and wholeness in her body and mind. She found the course to be instrumental in helping her to understand the necessity of balancing her mind and body as a means of supporting her towards a path of revealing an innate happiness, joy and equanimity and freedom. And she was grateful to implement many of the Ayurvedic principles and methodologies that I taught um, into her daily life. Loretta had had a really challenging year, couple of years before she came to the course, and she found herself straying from many of the healthy lifestyle habits uh, that she already knew as an Ayurvedic 
she's a masseuse, Ayurvedic masseuse. So this led her from like insomnia and high blood pressure into really understanding her body, making better choices and lifestyle adjustments, choosing the herbal recommendations and getting her health back on to um, back on track and back into equilibrium. So you must be asking, what is this Nourish Your Nature course? It, um, first of all, it takes place on the 26th of April. It's an Ayurvedic cooking and self-care foundations course. And so um, you'll be learning with me over six modules of live and pre-recorded material. Um, all the wonderful things and more of what I've shared with you in this webinar. And if what we have for the first year, this uh, first time this year is scholarship funds. If you are um, black and with people, a person of color, if you're non-binary, if you're a single mother, if you're an individual facing hardship, you can apply for a scholarship that details of that are on the website and you can pay in installments you can pay in four months or three monthly pans or you can pay in one um, installment for that then there's also standard um, type of nourish your nature course um, and certificated course um, package which is the four month installments again three month installments or one off payment so i really hope that um, the information regardless of whether you're joining me on the course or not was helpful for you today and i i believe that uh, you can still follow along and um, you can gain a lot of insights from my instagram and the youtube channel but if you're ready to take a next step, if you're ready to take action and really start wanting to feel better and really get to know uh, from the inside of your, your cells, your bones, what you should be eating and how um, good you can feel, then do join me on the Nourish Your Nature course because it's going to be truly transformative. And um, I'll be sending this recording out. So even if you're watching on the replay, if there's any comments or anything that you wanna share with me, do send me an email and um, I send lots of love. Thank you for watching.